Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Infinix Note 12. And the Infinix Note 12 has a MediaTek Helio G96 processor with 8 GP of RAM, while the Samsung has a Snapdragon 680 processor with 6 GP of RAM. On the back, we have triple cameras versus a quad cameras. On the Samsung, we have 50 megapixel main versus a 2 megapixel depth sensor and an AI lens. While on the Samsung, we have a 50 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization. Also, we have 5 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back on both phones is made up of plastic. And the frame also is made up of plastic and both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side and the frame of the Infinix Note 12 is a flat frame and you can see which gives a more premium feel over the Samsung. On the bottom we also have a headphone jack on both phones and the Infinix also has a dual speakers while on the Samsung we only have a single speaker. So in this video I'm going to show you how it's a Snapdragon 680 on the Samsung is stack up against the MediaTek Helio G96 and keep that in mind and the Samsung 823 is a 48,000 PKR phone while the Infinix Note 12 is a 36,000 around PKR phone but internationally both phones is comes in, in the same price range so without any wasting time let's get right into it. Now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time here we go. Logos came up first on the Samsung as compared to the Infinix. And both phones is running on Android 12, XOS version 10 versus Samsung One UI version 4.1. Later softwares on both phones. And let's see who is going to be the fastest one. Infinix Note 12 is more faster when it comes to booting up and you can see huge difference between these two devices. Samsung is taking a lot of time and you can see we have a 5 or 6 second difference there. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the Samsung we have 6.6 .6 inch Full HD Plus PLS LCD display with 90Hz refresh rate while on the Infinix we have 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 60Hz refresh rate. Also we have U-shaped notch versus a V-shaped notch. Also on the bottom chain it is more smaller on the Infinix Note 12 as you can see. So now let's see apps opening speed. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. So now let's open a phone dialer that is very similar. Let's see settings faster on the Infinix Note 12. Now let's go to the display and you can see we have adaptive 90 Hz refresh rate on this phone versus a 60 Hz on the Infinix. Now let's check out some more application opening up Amazon shopping with same Wi-Fi network and the Note 12 is a super super fast phone because of the Helio G96. So now let's see the scrolling and that is more smoother on the Samsung A23 90 Hertz versus a 60 Hertz. Yes we have a difference. Let's see Candy Crush Saga and Candy Crush faster on the Infinix Note 12. Also we have dual speakers. So here is the Infinix Note 12 looks like with the dual speakers. And here is the Samsung looks like with the single speaker. And I would say that the Infinix has a more bass in their speakers but I would say the speaker is more clear on the Samsung. That's really unsurprising. Instagram very similar. Let's see pin out. Pin out is a tiny bit more faster on the Infinix Note 12. Let's see Snapchat, very similar. Subway Surfer, Subway Surfer is way faster and you can see on the Infinix Note 12. In heavy games and the difference is a lot as compared to before. So now let's opening up the Temper N2. And Temper N2 is faster again on the Infinix Note 12. We have a two we have a two or three second difference there. Infinix is done and you can see. Now let's check out PUBG Mobile. And PUBG is open up more faster on the Infinix. And the Helio G96 is a really powerful processor. 
Infinix is done. Samsung is now it is also done. And you can see we have a two or four second difference there. Also, we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate versus a smooth graphics with high frame rate. No 40 FPS gameplay on the Samsung. Opening up the tutor and that is more faster on the Samsung this time. Now let's open Zedge. That is a little more faster on the Samsung this time. So now let's see the scrolling. And scrolling is a little more smoother on the Samsung. 90 Hertz and 60 Hertz is not really good on the Infinix. So last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones, default camera application. Now let's see who is going to be the fastest one. Bring up the camera faster on the Infinix Note 12 and you can see uh, the camera is more better on the Samsung no doubt about that we have optical image stabilization so now let's look at the phone facing camera here is the phone facing camera looks like and the front camera it is much better on the Infinix Note 12 yes it is okay guys now let's see internet browser speed I am seeing the for Samsung internet browser on the Samsung versus a Google Chrome on the Infinix wikipedia.org faster on the Infinix. So now let's check out scrolling and that is more smoother on the Samsung. Yes, in the side we have a little lag on the Samsung. Infinix, it is on 60 Hertz. So now let's open this English. Again, more smoother on the Samsung as compared to the Infinix. Next on the list is Samsung.com. Samsung.com is very similar this time. So now let's see the scrolling. Again, more smoother on the Samsung. The difference is huge between 60 Hertz and 90 Hertz. I can feel that very easily. So now let's check out RAM management. We have 6 GB of RAM versus 8 GB on the Infinix. So phone dialer, no refresh. Settings, Amazon shopping, no refresh. It is an internet refresh. Let's see Candy Crush Sega, no refresh. Instagram, let's see pin out. Snapchat, Subwoofer, and you can see no refresh on both phones so far. Let's see Temper and Two. Let's see PUBG Mobile. PUBG is not refresh. Opening up the Twitter, Zedge. Last way back to the Internet Browser where we left, and you can see. And guys, over have to say regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that the Infinix Note 12 overall is more faster in system based application as well as in game app loading time. In game app loading time, we have more difference as compared to the system based application, obviously. In terms of the RAM image wise, and in that area, and both phones is performing really, really good in the RAM image, man. Not a single refresh on both phones. And both phones also has a 5000 image battery size. We have 33 watt fast charging versus a 15 watt fast charger in the box. But the A23 is also support 25 watt. So that's about it and thank you so much for watching this sweetest comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Infinix Note 12. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.